Enjoying the sunshine and the sand. We just barely got here and they just barely got in the water and now they're being booted out. Why do you want your own mother to die? Canyon started talking about a late night with friends. He's like, well, did you invite these people and these people? I'm like, I didn't invite anybody. I got these little cute little jars and one had a moldy piece of fruit inside. It was disgusting. I'm filming today and I should, I'm supposed to be there right now, but I had to hurry and get ready and I'm eating food super fast so that I can take Motrin because I've been cramping all morning. So I'm hurrying and eating and then I'm going over. The kids are gonna film a Tannerites video this morning and so I am gonna go run over and see my brother and sister-in-law's new house while they film. So we came to the Del Coronado uh, Hotel today. This is Coronado Beach and uh, it is incredible. The beach is so deep, you can see it goes both directions. Uh, it's the ocean all the way back up. It's really, really deep. Beautiful inside and out. It's, it was built in like 1888 or something like that. And uh, Jeff, father in law Jeff, he's over here telling us all the history about this area and the guy that built it, apparently his house way up there or the one on the on the island that's what it was but the place is incredible just enjoying the sunshine and the sand my brother's uh, in law brother in laws brothers in law they just got they just we just barely got here and they just barely got in the water and now they're being booted out not sure why yet okay so apparently there's rip tides back there but just ahead is perfect so you can see a couple of people out here actually uh, boogie boarding. I think that's probably where we're gonna go. We really only moved about a half a block, maybe a block. Right there. Yeah, he got it. He got it. Yeah, Tim got it. I got this welcome mat the other day at the store when I was getting stuff for the party and I figured I better put it out now. It's almost officially fall. <laughs> and then, I don't know. I'm not gonna do a lot of decorating here this fall and Halloween. So there we go. This decorating, I got the lighted pumpkin. I'm good <laughs> for decorations. My kids don't love that I've kind of become a, like a ball humbug with decorations and I don't know, I just, cause this is like a transitional house for us. I don't wanna bring all the decorating stuff here and decorate and then move it all back over. I don't know, I told Danielle she could decorate with my Halloween, Halloween decorations. So then they're being used, but it's not, it's kind of like this is our vacation home, vacation home, because I don't wanna bring everything over here just to take it back up to the construction zone when we're ready to move back there. I've moved way too many times in the last three years. <laughs> Are you choosing what you want to be for Halloween? Yeah, I'm just looking at stuff. What are you going to be for Halloween? Yoda. Yoda, oh yeah. All right, that's what you want for your Halloween costume? More than anything else, you can't change your mind after this. I know, because no one has ever been this guy before. Okay. Because I made him. Okay. Death attack. Whoa. When I touch your head with this, I die. you die. Why do you want your own mother to die? I'm not. I want the man anyway, eating so Reese. Probably, what are you going to do with that? Hang it up in my room. After being in Spirit Halloween, we needed to go to some place that was some place that the moms wanted to go. And what better place than Ace Hardware, especially this one, because they have all the things, so many things here. Kitchen stuff, decorations, 
yard things, toys, clothes, all of the things here. Jeff has been sleeping on the couch for the last two nights and he refuses to let us switch him. That is my bed. And so we're gonna, we're gonna ensure, we're gonna make sure that he doesn't sleep on it tonight. Here we go. Okay, we just need to act normal now. Should we start cooking that fish? Okay, he just got out of the shower. Let's see what he says. Well, we thought we won, but he ended up sleeping on the table. Okay, we're going to dinner. You want to go to dinner with us? Yeah, I'll just bring some back in my shoes. <laughs> we just went to dinner with Ty's family. Um, it's his grandma's birthday today, and we go to her car. Mind you, it's her birthday. I didn't get her anything, and I feel bad because I didn't know it was her birthday until today. Ty texted me about it. But she handed me this bag and I was like, it's your birthday. It's her birthday. But she gave me this. She gave me this. She's like, it's your first Halloween decoration at your house. And she said, it's me and Ty, so. Yeah, I'm the pumpkin. No, you're this guy. Why don't you want to be this guy? <laughs> but she got me this on her birthday. Cute. Yes. Oh, all your lights came. Is it all of them? It's brighter. It is brighter. <gasps> that one's actually really good. Okay, yeah, let's put the other ones in. Yep. <gasps> Wait, turn on those ones too. I'm gonna compare. Those are still bad. They're brighter, but they're bad. But look at this. So, today I'm at Halloween. I got something for my room. It is mine. It is the man-eating wreath but on, on Nightmare Before Christmas. So, mom is going to get me something for it. So, yeah. Halloween! Okay, do um, you want to hang this up? Yeah! Okay, bring your wreath over here. We got to see where it needs to be. Oh, there it is. Woohoo! Woohoo! Oh, you guys decided to watch Pinocchio? Yeah. So, Last week, the girls were talking about having their friends over and having a late night, a movie night, and they had they only had one friend that could come over last night. And Canyon started talking about a late night with friends, and I'm like, yeah, we will make that happen. But he had like a whole list of friends that he was having come over, and then he's like, okay, tomorrow is gonna be my late night. And I was like, okay. Girls had one last night, they can have, the boys can have one tonight. And he's like, well, did you invite these people and these people? I'm like, I didn't invite anybody. <laughs> so we invited Benny, he was able to come. So they're just, they're the cute, the three of them together, it's like the three musketeers. They're just the stinking cutest little kids all together. And, um, oh, I was gonna show you. So I got some jars and my sister-in-law, Jessica, that we were hanging out with today, she told me about this new pectin. I don't know if it's new, but this pectin, I've never seen it before. It, you can use less sugar in your jams. And I have all of that fruit left over from the party the other night that I don't want it to go bad, and I'm like, what am I gonna do with it? I'm gonna make some jam with it and try that new pectin. So, I also clean out my, my sourdough start jar because it was getting pretty gnarly. And I'm going to grind some wheat so that tomorrow morning I can make start making some sourdough so we can have it for dinner. And I also have zucchini that I bought, so I think I'll make some more zucchini bread as well. There's so many things I want to do before John gets home, and I was going to do some today, but then we hung out for a long time with our with my sister-in-law and my niece and nephew, which was so fun because we haven't been able to hang out with them for a long time. So 
the girls are over there having late night, the boys are here having late night, I'm gonna get some things done. Jam is done. I got these little cute little jars and they're supposed to be sealed and sterilized and everything and I was opening it up and one had a moldy piece of fruit inside. It was disgusting. And like this was all sealed up and everything. But so I had to wash all the jars and lids before I used them. But jam is done. It tastes good. Half the sugar of that they usually that usually put into a thing of jam. Let's see how it sets up. Now it has to sit here for 24 hours before going in the freezer. But I'm excited for tasty, which tasty jam with half the sugar. Oh yeah. Gotta go for ice cream. What is happening? So the last supper's happening inside of the oven. What is going on here? Okay, so we're doing chocolate chip cookie dough. Root beer float. Oh, it's beautiful. First person to ever order one that's different from vanilla. For reals? Nice. I've never had anyone else ask for anything else. They'll usually just, I'll be like, we can make one out of any flavor. They go, vanilla. This is yours. Oh, beauty. Thank you. Nice. Okay, I had I told the boys I had 10 minutes till it's time for bed and so I'm gonna take 10 minutes and see how much how much I can get done in this room of taking off the sticky notes. Okay, I just have that and that. Everything else is back to being white. And it makes such a huge difference in here. Like it opens up the room, brightens it up. It's crazy. I can't believe the kids went to all that work to put the notes up. If you haven't seen it, go to Danielle's channel, prank my parents, and it's crazy, all the sticky notes that were in here. <sighs> I'm ready, I'm wiped. Johnny comes home tomorrow, I'm so excited. It's hard having him gone. I know that he's had a good time and I'm glad that he's able to spend that time with my dad and my brothers. But we miss him like crazy around here. We love you guys. Always remember that you are worth it. Bye.